सदस्य मान भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती भूषामी तो उपाधि जय अनंत कोटि वर्ष नमिंद की जय नामाचार ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से गौ श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद से अद्वैत गदाधार शिवास आदि गौर भक्त श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गौ गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरिवर्धन की जय वृंदावन धाम की जय नवदीप धाम की जय स्वामी तो भक्त बिंद की जय गंगा माई की जय जमुना माई की जय तुलसी देवी की जय भक्ति देवी की जय स्वामी तो भक्त बिंद की जय ऑल ग्लोरी इस जय समी बोल ऑल ग्लोरी इस जय समी वे मैं Hi Krishna. Today's Shrimad Bhagavatam class given by Srila Prabhupada will be on Canto 1, Chapter 7, Verse 12, recorded on the 11th of September 1976 in Vrindavan. That's Canto 1, Chapter 7, Verse 12, recorded 11th of September 1976 in Vrindavan. The cries are disturbing. How we are? Can I ask you? परीक्षित अथ राजे जन्मकर्म विलापन संस्या च पांडुपुत्राण बक्सी कृष्ण कथोदय दिस इज एनदर पुराण हिस्ट्री we have already explained so sometimes the a class of devotees known as sahajya they say that we what we have got to do with the narration of kurukshetra battle uh, they immediately jump to the krishna leela directly with the gopis and krishna's activities in other field they think it is useless uh, <clears throat> but that is not the fact anywhere krishna is acting that is transcendental the battlefield of kurukshetra uh, historical references description so superficially it appears that what a devotee has got to do with this battlefield hmm. but battlefield or no battlefield wherever there is krishna that is transcendent this has to be understood otherwise sukhdev goshami why he should indulge in describing how uttara's uh, pregnancy was saved by krishna how the brahmastra was thrown by ashwatthama so sukdev goswami is liberated person 
why he should indulge in this material things uh, now those who are advanced they know that krishna's dancing with the gopis that leela and krishna's playing as the leader of the battlefield of kurukshetra is the same it is all transcendent uh, one should not make any distinction between the two sangasad pandavutrana bhakshe krishna kathodayam pandavutrana the pandavutra or the pandavas sana pandu they are all devotees in their political affairs because there is connection with krishna uh, it is krishna katha uh, those who are with poor fund of knowledge directly taking shelter of krishna or to take shelter of a pure devotee who is under the shelter of krishna madas so uh, if one takes shelter of a pure devotee uh, this is electricity the power house is far away but the power is coming uh, suppose your body is electrified and if i touch then my body immediately becomes electrified and if somebody touches me then others body this is electric similarly one who is pure devotee he is authorized by krishna he is electrified so if one takes shelter of a pure devotee then he becomes purified jadu pasaya sraya suddanti that is the statement given by sukadev goshane how the chandalas can become purified uh, the example i have already stated that then at the end sukadev goshane says prabha vishnavi namo this is the supreme transcendental power of vishnu we can do uh, sometimes they say that unless the body is changed how a chandala can become purified yes body is changing because we do not know how the body is changing krishna says in the bhagavad gita tatha dehantara prapti dehantara prapti eh देहि नस्मिन यथा देहि कौमार जौवन जरा तथा लाइक दैट तथा मीन्स लाइक दैट देहांतर प्राप्ति दीज आर देहांतर देहि नस्मिन यथा देहि कौमार कौमार जौवन जरा दिस इज देहांतर एवरी मोमेंट वी आर चेंजिंग आवर बॉडी दिस इज देहांतर Uh, Krishna said, "The greatest authority. This is the how you can say that there is no dehanta. Yes, dehanta. Suppose in my childhood, I am born in a Chandala family. But he, by initiation, by taking shelter of a pure devotee, uh, I become initiated." So the hantara is there going on. So if I take initiation seriously, so in the next the hantara. Suppose yesterday I was a chanda. Now by this time there is the hantara, and if I am purified by initiation, so this argument the hantara is already there. 
scientifically in modern understanding and on the authority of Krishna's statement, Dehantara is going on. Not that uh, somebody was uh, European or uh, we take Europeans as Mlechas, Javanas. Yes, he was yesterday Mlechas, Javanas. But he has changed his body and in after changing if he is initiated, then Dehantara uh, Shuddhanti is purified. Uh, Siddhanti. So how this is possible if we cannot understand because Lord Vishnu's energy is inconceivable. Inconceivable. Uh, Achinta. Srila Jiva Goswami has discussed. Unless you accept uh, uh, achinta shakti of the Supreme Personality of God, you cannot understand. You have to accept. It is achinta, inconceivable by us, but it is not inconceivable uh, by the advanced devotees or uh, anything being executed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It is not inconceivable by Him. Sabhavika jnana bala kriyasa. Uh, he is so perfect in knowledge that what we are thinking inconceivable, that is very, very easily done with full knowledge by the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, so what is inconceivable by us? It is not inconceivable by Him. Uh, therefore, you have to learn it from Tadviddhi Pranipatena Pariprasnena Sevaya Upadekshanti Tadjyanam Jnanina Tattadarjina. We cannot understand directly, it is not possible. So we have to approach Tattadarjina. Uh, just like Sukhdev Goswami, Tattadarsh. He says, Suddhanti, yes, he is purified. Although he is born of Kirata, Hunam, the Purindu, Chandala. Chandala is Dijasrasht, uh, Hari Bhakti Parayana. So it is inconceivable by us uh, how a Chandala can be Dijasrasht more than a Brahmin. Uh, it is inconceivable by me. But when we get a statement of the authorities like Sukhdev Goswami uh, and above that Krishna, because the conclusion of Krishna and the conclusion of pure devotee like Sukhdev Goswami, they are the same. Just see here. Krishna says, Unless one is purified, how he can go to Parangati? Uh, and Sukhdev Goswami also says the same thing. Kirata Hunanda. Papajoni. They are Papajani. Suddhanti. Prabhavishnavi Nama. Simply we have to go to the through the process. Uh, otherwise, uh, everything is possible. Uh, that is, the omnipotency of Krishna. We use this word, omnipotency, but we do not know actually what is that omnipotency. Omnipotency means he has got uh, diverse energies. That is omnipotence. And we do not know uh, by which energy he is acting uh, in a particular case. But this is a fact that his energy is working. Uh, and he says also in the Bhagavad Gita directly, Maya dhaksena prakriti suyate sacharacharam. Maya dhaksena, under my supervision, prakriti is acting. 
the how prakriti is directed how krishna is directing prakriti to make a nice flower just like here that painting flower on the wall it takes so much time so much arrangement still it is not as good as a natural flower yet you have painted one rose flower and here are roses there is art also and here is art also without art without artistic sense how these nice things beautiful thing can come in you find uh, a beautiful flower blown in a plant you appreciate it and don't think as the rascal says by nature it has come automatically no the same energy as you are taking you are applying your energy to paint a flower on the wall with your paints and brushes uh, but krishna is also doing that but his energy is so inconceivable that we cannot see how he is working but he is working otherwise why krishna says my adhapsena prakriti prakriti is working under my direction is it a bluff no actually prakriti is acting under his direction uh, it is confirmed in the brahma sangita sishti sthiti palaya sadhana shakti rika chai vajas bhavanani vibhakti durga ईच्छानुरूपमी जो सच चेष्टति सा सा प्रकृति इच्छानुरूपमी जो दैट प्रकृति दुर्गा इज एक्टिंग अंडर द डिरेक्शन ऑफ गोविंद इच्छानुरूपमी जो सच चेष्टति सा गोविंद मादि पुरुषम तमाम द डिरेक्शन इज दे direction is there actually but because we cannot conceive the how in this plan the direction of the supreme lord is there so that a nice flower is coming with so beautiful feature but direction is there we should know uh, in ordinary we say sometimes that not a blade of grass moves without the direction of the supreme personality of god Uh, so everything is going on under the direction of the supreme personality of god don't think that it is taking automatic there is no such thing as automatic uh, but the direction is so quick so sufficient and so perfect parasya shakti vibhujai vasyate swabhavik gyan balokya automatical immediate uh, there are so many machines we have the slide the computer there is machine working but it is so minor that simply by pushing one button so many things immediately done this is a material machine manufactured by a human being and how much perfect the machine of krishna will be just imagine so this material nature is nothing but machine it is not god uh, those who are uh, with poor fund of knowledge they are taking directly this material nature as working no material nature has no power to act it is dull uh in the same example the computer it is a very nice machine but it cannot work automatically unless an expert pushes the bot uh so material nature cannot do anything uh, it is krishna's direction so in everywhere there is krishna's direction one who has got the eyes to see for him krishna ka subodayam whatever he sees he remembers krishna 
আবার জঙ্গম দেখে না দেখে তার মূর্তি সর্বত্র স্ফুরয়ে তার ইষ্টদেব মূর্তি ওয়ান হ্যাজ টু বিকাম অ্যাডভান্স ডিবোটি টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হাউ কৃষ্ণস ডিরেকশন ইজ গোয়িং অন দে ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ডোন্ট থিঙ্ক দ্যাট থিংস আর টেকিং প্লেস অটোমেটিক্যালি দ্যাট ফর ইভেন ইন ডিভার্স কন্ডিশন এ ডিভোটি ডাজ নট সি দ্যাট দিস থিং ইজ হ্যাপনিং উইদাউট ডিরেকশন অফ কৃষ্ণ সে ইভেন ইফ হি ইজ ইন অ্যাডভান্স কন্ডিশন হি ডাজ নট ফিল এনি পেন বিকজ হি নো দ্যাট দিস অ্যাডভান্স কন্ডিশন ইজ অলসো আন্ডার দি ডিরেকশন অফ কৃষ্ণ সো আই এম ফুললি সারেন্ডার টু কৃষ্ণ হোয়াই আই শ্যাল টেক দিস অ্যাডভান্স পজিশন এজ নট মার্সি অফ কৃষ্ণ ইট ইজ অলসো মার্সি অফ কৃষ্ণ প্রত্যেনুকম্পাশুসমিক্ষমান পুণ্যান ইবাত্মকৃতং বিপাকম ডিভোটি ইজ নট ডিস্টার্ব বাই অ্যাডভার্স কন্ডিশন হি টেক্স দ্যাট দিস ইজ এ গিফট অফ কৃষ্ণ তত্ত্বে অনুকম্পা ইট ইজ কৃষ্ণস মার্স অল দো আই এম ফুট ইন টু ডিফিকাল্টি ইট ইজ কৃষ্ণস মার্স So anyone who takes in that way, Mukti Padesa Daya Bha, he is going back to home, back to Godhead, is guaranteed. Uh, because he takes everything as Krishna's mercy. That's why Pallad Maharaj. Pallad Maharaj was so much chastised by his father. You know how he was put into difficulty in so many ways. But he was taking, this is Krishna's mercy. He did not take otherwise. Uh, so, uh, in this way, wherever, everywhere there is Krishna's hand. Uh, so what to speak of this battlefield or any other thing. Uh, so we should not take otherwise that this is the best part and this is the uh, lowest part. No. Wherever there is Krishna, directly. Krishna is everywhere, but we cannot see. But at least in Mahabharata, in Srimad Bhagavatam, in Krishna's dealing with the Pandavas, the Krishna's hand is there. That is Krishna's leader. It is not like that. Uh, one who is advanced, one who is actually in knowledge, they will take uh, Krishna Kathodam. Wherever Krishna's katha is there, it is as good as any other. That is the way. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Can we get the roaming mic as well? Ah, there she has got it. Okay. We can start? Okay. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshulunmitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurve Namaha 
Vanchakalpa Trubascha Kripa Sindhu Pyevacha Patita Nam Pavanibyo Vishnavibyo Namo Namaha Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Shimati Bhakti Vedanta Swamene Chinamine Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nirishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna. So thank you everyone for gathering today. I've been asked to fill this slot at the last minute, so apologies if I'm not that prepared. But I'm hoping together we can just try and um, churn the class, discuss the class, and make it not so much of a lecture, but more of an interactive discussion, if that's okay with everyone. So we will be using the mic a lot. So just before, before I start with um, my own thoughts, I just wanted to get your own thoughts. What do you think are some of the points that were being made in class that were pertinent to you? And if so, why? Or what did you like about the class? Anyone can start. Darishi Prabhu, perhaps you can start because you've got the mic. <laughs> Hare Krishna, yes. Yeah, um, I, re I was just reading in Srimad Bhagavatam how um, just recently of how uh, the sages of Brahma uh, and are asking uh, Sutta Goswami, um, please describe the topics related to Krishna. It's mm. about Pariksha Maharaj, you know, and his kingly activities, his duties, but please relate it back to Krishna. Mm. And then here Prabhupada is describing it again. It's like, why is Sukadev Goswami discussing these things about uh, Uttara? about how Pariksha Maharaj is born, about the Ashwatthama and everything like this, because it's all directly connected to Krishna. Mm. So we are, we, from here we can understand how Krishna is supremely powerful, mm. that even though it may be a material activity, because it has Krishna, then there's no tinge of material contamination. It's actually supremely contained, mm. and it's all transcendental. So I find that really powerful. Okay. Um, but I also have a question, but I'll ask that later. <laughs> okay. So just on that point, so Sukadev, uh, Sutta Goswami is being asked to narrate about Krishna, and we see throughout the Bhagavatam, right, it's not just about Krishna and Krishna's different incarnations, right? Krishna also includes Krishna's devotees, right? It's not just Krishna, so that's why it's Krishna and Krishna's pastimes, Krishna's devotees' pastimes, the Lord's paraphernalia, etc., etc. So that's one very important point that we should realize, that it's not just about Krishna, but also Krishna's devotees. And through the examples of the devotees, because obviously the Lord is absolute, but through the example that the Bhagavatam has of the different Vaishnavas, we can learn from the example of how they went through their own challenges in which to surrender unto Krishna. So it's really to give us hope and aspiration that we can also get over this mountain of um, anantas that we have in our heart. Okay, Srinivasapu, you want to make a comment? Well, you know, Prabhupada spoke about the, um, the um, uh, untouchable... Uh, the chandalas. The chandalas. Yes. Purified and yes, that was an interesting point. Yes. So Bhakti and Thakur, he gives an example on this point to elaborate. Okay, please. Do you want to elaborate on that point? So he says, he gives an example. He says just like uh, when they want to catch a male elephant, okay, they dig a hole, right? Okay. And then then, then they let the let the. Shri Shri Radha Kukula Nanda Ki Jai Shri Shri Sita Ram Lakshman Anuman Ki Jai Shri Shri Gurani Thai Ki Jai Shri Guru Parampara Ki Jai so, so then they let the female elephant go loose Okay So in the, and they cover the, the, the hole up So the male elephant falls into the hole, hole and they catch the male elephant like this Okay 
In the same way, Krishna allows his devotees to take birth in all classes of society. Hmm. So in this way, everyone gets... Do you want to give an example of a devotee who was born in a quote-unquote untouchable class? Well, you, said, you said Krishna makes his devotees appear in different classes. So to put that into perspective and to give us examples of which that's occurring, do you want to perhaps give some examples or do you... Well, you look at ISKCON itself. Okay, ISKCON is there. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Does anyone else want to give any examples in the Shastra of... Yes, Prabhu. Uh, do you want to give the mic? Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur. Yeah, very Narad Muni when he talks about his previous birth, so that's yeah. another example. Okay, wonderful. Um, Karan Prabhu and Vishal Prabhu, you want to say something? I think it's Vitrashu. Vitrashu. Vitrasura. He's transformed into a demon. Okay. Uh, yeah, but he's still, although in a demonic species, form of a demonic, his consciousness is still like a devotee. Yeah, okay. Same example, Tarashi Prabhu. Just recently on Ram Katha, how Shabri. She's mm. not also part of the, she's out completely, lower than the mm. sutra from coming from a caste. Mm. But she had the chance to meet Ram. So yeah. yeah. And even if, under, if I've got my understanding correctly, even Vidura, right? We understand Vidura is born as a shudra. Yes. Um, so, yeah. You going to say someone else? Even Prahlad Maharaj, born in front of demon. Yeah, Pallad Maharaj. Which other demon is there? Who's born in the family of the demons? Pali Maharaj, correct. So these are Mahajans. So yes, one can say to <clears throat> one's external um, appearance being born in a specific caste does not limit one in order to progress in bhakti. So. The Lord is illustrating this so that we also have faith that we can also make that journey back home, back to Godhead. Okay, great, fantastic. Does anyone want to comment or reflect on any other points in the class that they found insightful? Uh, we'll start with Bishal Prabhu. One, one point uh, I thought I was just reflecting on Prabhupada speaking. And I was uh -huh. thinking, yeah, we should really listen to the instruction of Guru because mm. he's giving that. We shouldn't just jump ahead to 10th canto whimsically. Yeah. We should really just listen to what he's saying and take his guidance. Otherwise, we're, we are going according to our own material uh, motivations. And you know, so we should try to follow Guru's instruction. Yeah. Let me just read that small specific passage because that was one of the points I also highlighted. So Prabhupada is saying, those who are advanced, they know that Krishna is dancing with the gopis, that Leela and Krishna is playing as the leader on the battlefield of Kurukshetra is the same. That is all transcendental. One should not make any distinction between the two. Um, so even, so he talks about the Pandavas, the son of Pandavas, the old devotees, even their political affairs, because there is connection with Krishna, it is Krishna Katha. So I was also reflecting on this point that anything that we connected to Krishna, that becomes Krishna Katha. So as much as possible in our day, whatever activity we're doing, we should always, if as much as possible, try and relate it back to Krishna. I remember when I was staying at Soho Street, one uh, devotee from Bhaktivedanta Mana came to stay there. And he was mentioning how when he gets up in the morning and he's brushing his teeth, he's thinking, I'm brushing my teeth because I know Krishna likes it if I am clean. So again, he's relating it back to Krishna. So it's such a beautiful point that even something as mundane as just brushing the teeth, you know, cleaning the temple. You're all very fortunate that, that you're serving at Bhaktivedanta Manadam. And if we can just um, remember that, you know, the beautiful opportunity that we've been given to, we're staying in the Holy Dham. And if we're grateful to that, we just simply by even just thinking of that, 
even that in it, in and of itself we make an advancement. So yeah, Darshi Prabhu, you wanted to make a comment? Sorry, just back to your last point. Okay. I was like when Prabhupada would make references to Sashram, you know, it's very important. I, after going through Prabhupada's lecture in and out, you know, I go through Prabhupada's lecture every day. And one thing I've noticed is he always quotes Sashram because it's always important. When a sadhu speaks or guru speaks, he goes back up with sasha. So Prabhupada gives this, uh, this verse, Maam hi Bhagavad Vipashra again, E pi so Papa Yoniha, that Papa Yoniha, that the lower class of men. So it's, I just find that beautiful that whatever point he makes, immediately sasha is quoted. Mm. And I also remember, I think somewhere during the class, um, he also says that. Yeah, because the conclusion of Krishna and the conclusion of the pure devotees like Sukadeva Swami, they are the same. So I think it's always good to cross-reference between Guru, Sadhu, and Shastra. We always have this triangle, and if uh, as much as possible, because sometimes there's that famous example in the Bhagavatam of the Guru giving an instruction that was not followed. Does anyone? Bali Maharaj. Yeah. So even though his Guru is telling him to do something, one should always have the discrimination as to what the Guru is saying. One should be careful. And one should not just blindly accept. You're not saying that one should not accept the instructions of the Guru, one should and submissively hear them, but one should not lose one's power of discrimination and just whimsically just follow what the Guru is saying. And that's why Sadhu and Shastra is there as well. Did you have a question in regards to this, Prashad Prabhu, or something else? Uh -huh. Same thing you were saying. Yes. Came to mind. Don't surrender your intelligence, but surrender with your intelligence. Yeah. So elaborating very nicely. Yeah. Okay, that's very nice. So, surrender with your intelligence. Don't surrender with your mind. Surrender your intelligence. Don't surrender. Don't surrender your intelligence. Surrender with intelligence. Okay, that's nice. Thank you. Any other points during the class that devotees want to reflect on? Any other points that they remember? Yes, Prabhu, Panchatatra Prabhu. We have to accept the inconceivable aspect of Krishna, mm. uh, which almost seems like a, a paradox. <laughs> Prabhu's quoting that you know, Krishna knows it perfectly and the pure devotee knows it perfectly, therefore like Sukadeva Goswami uh, in Tadvadi Pranipati now that he can mm. see the truth, we approach him. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the material world, understanding the mind of a pure devotee, Krishna, they're all very inconceivable to us. And I feel it's all for us to bring about the mentality that we're hopeless, right? What can we do? I think even uh, Prabhupada gives the example in the class of not even a blade of grass can move without the Lord's sanction, right? So if not even the blade of grass can move without the Lord's sanction, what can we do? That's why really, in the true sense, we all mercy cases. We all need the mercy. And the more we're dependent on the Lord's mercy and the more we realize how dependent we are, the more we can make advancement by realizing our utter dependence on the Lord. Okay. Anything else? Srinivas Prabhu. Yes, please. <clears throat> so Prabhupada said in his, in his lecture about connecting to the powerhouse. Yeah. Becoming whether electrified. <laughs> whether you propose Krishna directly or to his representative? Hmm. I think it was more through the representative, right? Because we generally can't approach Krishna directly, if I understood correctly from the class. Well, Prabhupada said both, no? 
Prabhupada's, I would need to check the translation, uh, the class, um, but I think more or less we understand that we can't approach Krishna directly. Yeah. We have to approach through the bona fide guru. That's my understanding, and maybe Prabhu, you want to clarify? There's a, a very nice quote of Bhakti Siddhanta's. Hmm. One of his um, disciples or followers was asking him, can we just read the books? And he gave an analogy, I'll try and paraphrase it because my memory's not so good. He said, just like the river Ganges is flowing down from the Himalayas and the water is completely pure. Hmm. He said, but we, we may not have the strength to climb to the top of the Himalayas Absolutely. to touch that pure water. Hmm. But it comes down to different tributaries, tributaries, tributaries yeah. to, to us. As long as that water doesn't get contaminated, um, we can taste that same pure water. So in the same way, the pure Vaishnavas are bringing the pure water of Krishna Kata mm. to us at the bottom of the Himalayas so we can receive it because we don't have the strength to climb to the top. Mm. Thank you, Prabhu. I was also just thinking from our own um, education, right? Like we all had a teacher. We didn't just get the textbook and say, oh, here, you know? Become a doctor, just read the book. Become an engineer, just read the book. We simply can't do that, right? We need a guru. And what's interesting in the Krishna Conscious Movement is that regardless of what level you're at, Kanishta, Madhyam, or Uttam, we're all reading the same book, right? It's not that the pure devotee is reading this and the Madhyama is reading that and Kanishta is reading something else. No, we're all reading about devotional service. But the Guru is there to unpack it to the disciple. Okay, you are at this level, so we should unpack it in this way. The Madhyama is at this level, so he'll unpack it in a different way. And amongst the Uttamas, they can unpack it in their way. But, they'll, but, they, but each person is getting relish from the same book. So how much can we do with our own knowledge? Very limited, very limited actually. So again, we simply dependent on the Lord's mercy. Devashi Prabhu, you wanted to mention a point regarding this? No, I, I, did, I just have a question. Why? Okay, do you want to ask your question? It's okay now. Yeah, sure. We'll try and... Um, Prabhupada is mentioning in this purport, I mean in the class, one has to become advanced devoted to understand how Krishna's direction is going on. They can understand. Don't think things are taking place automatically. And therefore, even in an advanced condition, a devotee does not see this thing happening without direction of Krishna. Even if he's in an adverse condition, he does not feel any pain. Now, when we come to the part of pain, when we were reading just like a month earlier about Vidura, Vidura is saying that thus being pierced by arrows through his ears and affected to the cause of his heart, he's feeling pierced because of the... Uh, of leaving the palace, you know, quitting his brother's place. And for he was not sorry, for he considered the act of ex external energy to be supreme. So I find it a bit uh, contradictory here, Prabhupada saying that even advanced conditions, ad adverse conditions, be a devotee doesn't feel pain. But here, Vidura is in an adverse condition, but he's feeling pain. So I, I don't, but I think it's contradictory. I'm just meditating and I'm thinking that <clears throat> from my understanding the pain that is being talked about is a difference between spiritual pain and material pain, first of all. When Ashwatthama died on the battlefield it's not that the Pandavas were not feeling pained. They were feeling pained. But that pain was in relationship to Krishna. Right, Krishna was the center. So I think there's a difference between spiritual pain and material pain. So in the ultimate sense, even the gopis, right? There's love in uh, Samborg and then separation. They are pained. But I think, um, 
yeah, there's just that difference. So with that context in mind, you can perhaps see that verse that ultimately Viduro is not, yes, externally he was feeling pain, but in a higher sense, he knew it was uh, his duty and it was for a higher cause. Uh, does Prabhu want to share? Do you want to share something in relationship to that? Nice quote that uh, Sri Dhammaraj said Sh once. He said, sure. He said, it helps kind of discriminate. He said, suffering is optional, mm. but pain is obligatory. Mm. So, from a material perspective, we may feel pain from our body, but the way that we process it is optional. There's something mm. that's created. Like that. Great point. Thank you. Any other last points? Otherwise, we will end the class. Prabhu, you wanted to ask something at the back? Okay, okay, Bishal Prabhu. Oh, you can say, we can have, yeah, go on. We, we, can, we can have last two comments, it's okay. Sure. Yeah. So, just a question um, about uh, the material energy. Yeah. Prabhupada is saying that the material energy is completely dull and it cannot act without um, Krishna's direction. Yeah, Krishna so, is the person who's directing it, yeah. But at the same time, we understand material nature is Durga Devi, and there's a consciousness or a soul, you know, so but at the same time, he's saying the material energy is dull. So I think he's saying it's not dull. Uh, okay, I'm sure he said it's dull. Yeah. Do you say it's dull? But yeah, it's like... Okay, I don't remember that. Then where does Durga Devi come into this? Okay. I'm just wondering. Yeah. Sorry, but you I go. Quote and reference: Material nature has no power to act; it is dull. Prabhupada is quoting. Do you want to read like a little bit yeah, before, a little bit after, just to give that context? Because <laughs> <laughs> material nature is nothing but machine. It is not God. Those who are with poor fund of knowledge, they are taking directly this material nature as working. No, material nature has no power to act, it is dull. The same example, the computer is a very nice machine, but it cannot work automatically unless an expert pushes the button. So material nature cannot do anything. It is Krishna's direction. So in everywhere, there is Krishna's direction. One who has got the eyes to see him for him, Krishna Kathodiam, when whatever he sees, he remembers Krishna. That's okay. So if I understand correctly, I think Krishna's or Prabhupada's almost giving the context that material nature is not superior to God. That's the way I see that specific example. Just like a machine, there's someone behind the machine. So in that sense, material nature is dull. There's someone superior to it. That's the way I see that statement, but there may be yeah, another statement. I agree with, that, that, yeah. with Krishna, it makes everything animate. Mm. Without Krishna's animation, then it won't go on automatically, like Prabhupada's giving the example of the computer. Yeah. yeah. So ultimately, it's either through Krishna or Krishna's energies. Srinivas Prabhu, you want to share? Thakur Thakur gives an example. He says, just like a magician uh -huh. um, or an actor, he's behind the curtains. Yeah. Right? You know that, right? The example. And does he know what's happening in front? Like, yeah. And he gives a, a point of view that although um, he's behind the curtain, Krishna knows what's going on. Yeah, He absolutely. just like, allows it to happen. He just allows it to happen. Great. Thank you. Do you want to share your last point and then we'll end? It's all good? Okay, great. Thank you so much. Gantarad Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Nitai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo. Thank you for tolerating me.